थ्री मिनट्स एक्स्ट्रा प्लीज मैडम फौजिया खान थैंक यू ऑनरेबल डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन सर सर वी आर पार्ट ऑफ अ रैपिडली इवॉल्विंग वर्ल्ड द वर्ल्ड टूडे हैज इवॉल्व टू सच एन एक्सटेंट दैट गिवेन अ चॉइस मैनी ऑफ अस वुड rather stay hungry than allow the power of our cell phone to die hmm. it's extremely difficult to comprehend that the first ever cell phone with internet was invented in the year 2001 just around 20 years earlier sir in the very same year the energy conservation bill the act of 2001 was passed in this house sir the amendment sir is a welcome one and a most needed one taken into account the pace at which the growing and evolving human race is needing power or energy to survive sir countries have started coming together across borders to utilize available resources to sustain the demand of the ever growing power requirement each country is trying to use the res resources that mother earth mother nature has blessed it with while simultaneously trying not to allow the earth to be damaged so it's the question of the survival of the planet today for all of us the theme of india's g20 presidency is extremely relevant vasudeva kutumbakam or one earth one family one future different countries sir are blessed with different resources compared to each other like fossil fuels natural gases wind river and the sun our nation must be appreciated for having accomplished the task of connecting more than 28 million homes in less than 1000 days however we must also take into account sir that to supply power to these 20 million houses and the rest of the nation we import more than 85% of power in the form of fossil fuels and other natural gases sir even the components of the solar industry like the photovoltaic cells are majorly imported from other countries and this cost of import has been eating away our ability to r&d sir india is blessed with the power of the sun wind Uh, the seas and the river but to harness the energy from these sources we have to take many steps towards r&d sir luckily the sun shines brighter on our country but the sun doesn't shine all the time so sir cost effective high power density batteries must be developed and to do that we must increase our r&d budget from 0.6% of our gdp to a much higher percentage like other major economies like china 2.4% or the us 3.06% so it's time that we increased our r&d budget for the department sir so the bill also addresses the building codes which which is a very welcome amendment but how can we ensure that the local governments implement them and unless these are implemented and followed up a legislation is just a futile exercise as honorable member in this house abhishek manu singhvi ji has rightly said india is an over legislated and an under enforced country making laws is not enough sir it has to be an interministerial interdepartmental at every level approach right down to the farmers there is too much energy conversation it is said there is too much energy conversation instead of energy conservation so sir let us walk the talk sir the stubble burning issue of delhi haryana punjab and up can be addressed and in fact utilized if industries are allowed to upgrade their boilers and utilize the energy that is in the form of crop stubble that possesses immense potential energy that is wasted in 
thousands and thousands of hectares of land causing uncontrollable pollution. So my suggestion is, while the carbon trading and the carbon market ecosystem is being developed, can we integrate incentivizing of issues such as the stubble burning and the use of mountains and mountains of garbage in and around the capital as biomass fuel in combination with corporate social responsibility for industries and also incentivize individual farmers with a system of carbon credit which could be sold to the industries. So this will create awareness and build up, build up a movement. Vatan ki fikar kar nadan musibat aane wali hai. Tere barbadi ke mashore hai asmano mein. Dhanyavad sir. Thank you. Honorable Sri G.K. Vashan. Honorable G.K. Vashan.